Hey everybody, this is Samer Audi and this is part 13 of the Kali Linux Security Tools series. Okay, so in today's video I will start a new group of tools called Web Application Analysis and our first subgroup is CMS and Framework Identification. The only tool in this subgroup is WP Scan. WP stands for WordPress and basically as the name suggests it is a wordpress security scanner and the prerequisite as you can see here in front of you is a basic understanding of web application security and of course the platform itself wordpress the tool is from wpscan.com and as a first step i registered to get an api token and i will show you why in a moment the registration process is pretty straightforward and standard with an email confirmation. As soon as you register, you will see this API token in the screenshot and basically you would need to copy it and use it in the tool as I will demonstrate. So this is the introduction on with the demo. As always, I like to start with the help system or in this case, the man pages. You can see here WordPress security scanner with the main option being the URL option and basically you would be supplying either an IP address or a URL, a web address for a website that has WordPress. So we need a target that has WordPress and I do have one and I will talk about it uh, shortly. The URL option requires either HTTP or HTTPS as protocol. However, the default is HTTP. So if you don't provide it, it will assume it's HTTP. There are a lot of options available for us, including the help system, the advanced or the full help, the output style and format, detection mode, etc. But I want to focus on one particular option, which is the force option, which would allow us, as you will see in a second, to force the scan without checking if it has WordPress or not. And the reason I want to use this option is that sometimes it cannot detect whether the website has WordPress. So I would say just force the scan anyway. And this is the option that I'm talking about. Okay, so my target is up and running and basically I downloaded it from vulnhub.com. You can do the same or you can choose another target and I'm ready to use my tool. Remember, the main option which is required is the URL. So let's start with that and let me just use the IP address of my target and in this case it is dot 147 and I'm going to use no other option okay now this is interesting because the scan was aborted and this is the reason provided to us it looks like there is a redirect in the website to vulnerable and basically we have we can solve it in two different ways if this does exist we simply point to it meaning we will use it as our URL but it doesn't exist so basically we will use the ignore main redirect option to ignore this redirect so let's try again with this option we're getting there but again scan was aborted now the reason is the remote website is up yeah we can see it however it does not seem to be running WordPress. So meaning the scanner wasn't able to detect that there was WordPress. It doesn't mean it is accurate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna force it to scan it anyway. And this is where the force option would come in handy. So let's repeat one more time. And this time with the force option. This time it did work and it was able to scan the website and get us some interesting information. For the purpose of this demo, the only piece of information I'm interested in is basically the WordPress version. And in this case, you can see 
It's WordPress version 2.5 identified, and it told us that it is an old insecure release all the way back to 2008. So what's the next step? If you remember, I mentioned this before, the link between vulnerability scanning and penetration attempt is to be able to identify what the vulnerability actually is. So in this case, we need to identify a specific vulnerability related to WordPress version 2.5. And you can use any uh, vulnerability database that you like. I like to use CVE detail. There is of course in Kali the search exploit database, but I'm gonna show you a more user-friendly database, which is CVE detail. So let's see if we can discover a specific vulnerability with this version of WordPress. Our search actually resulted in 13,400 different vulnerabilities and let's narrow it down by specifying the version and we will see here that there are few vulnerabilities including this particular one here CVE 2008-1930 which is a related to cookie authentication and basically what this vulnerability says is that we can generate using a combination of the username and the expiry time of the cookie we can generate the same hash what does that mean imagine the following scenario let's say you have the username admin and the expiry date is i'm just gonna make it up one one two three whatever right so let's say one one two three so admin and then one, one, two, three. A combination of those will create a unique hash. You should be familiar with a hashing and how it works. So for the same input, the same output will be produced if you use the same hash function. That's the rule. So remember, admin one, one, two, three. Let's use another scenario where we can generate the same hash output or digest but using the following admin one so now that's the user but the expiry is instead of one one two three only one two three so if we look at the combination of the first one it is admin one one two three and the second one it is admin one one two three so basically we're looking at the same combination and therefore the same hash output meaning what you can do to exploit this wordpress website is to create something like admin one and then whatever cookie hash that gets produced you can use it to log in as admin as the legitimate admin of that website in principle, this is it for the demo, but there is one missing item. Let's go back to our scan results and see this part right here. It says no WP scan API token was given. And as a result, the vulnerability data has not been output. So that's why we need to get that API token so that we can produce that output and use it in a more interesting way. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Using the full help system, HH, I can see that there's an option called API token and then the value or the argument for this option is the actual token. So at this point, if you registered, you simply copy that token and you paste it in the command line. Okay, now with the token, if we compare the scan results with the previous scan, we will see a lot more details, which basically is the output that WP scan didn't give us before. So let's just take a quick look at it. Just a couple of examples that it gives you a reference to the vulnerabilities discovered, uh, for example, whether they are in CVE, MITRE, or any other place 
so a lot more detailed and it's basically a very powerful tool when your target has WordPress. This is it for today's demo. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. Thank you for watching.